and y'all try so hard to be African. Problem is, African people don't even like us for real. Permit me to jump in here real quick. I find it weird how when it comes to white people, no matter where on the planet they are located, we all agree that they are Europeans. We call them Europeans. Same thing with Asians. No matter where they are, they are Asians. But then when it comes to black people, for some people, that logic just can't fly. And honestly, I don't get it. And sometimes you see these people going as far as discouraging black people who want to identify as African from identifying as African. And when he said people are trying to be African, what does that mean? How do you try to be something that you are? You only try to be something that you are not, right? African people don't even like us for real. And we as a people worldwide need to stop with the generalization like it's not helping us and it's dangerous. We can never meet every single one of us for us to say the things that we say on a general note like that. Like it's not good. We need to stop. It's because we're trying to appropriate and do everything like them as if we are them. Like we don't have our own American culture going on here in America. No, we also got to take African culture and put it into America just so we don't feel that much American. And it's so weird that y'all talk about culture appropriation, yet y'all appropriate African culture all the time. But like I said, you guys are not ready for this conversation or any conversation that will give you guys accountability. If there is any conversation we need to be having in relation to what he is saying, that would be the conversation where we educate those of us who do not know who an African is because we have people like him and people like her who obviously do not know what it means or takes to be African. A real African, you know, the ones who were born on the continent or the ones with parents born on the continent. She's a different package, okay? And I don't mean that positively. She goes by the name African Hippie. I covered that a few days ago. Link is going to be down below in the description if you want to check it out. And I'm still going to do that part too, like I said, because she's a lot. She's really doing a lot of damage, in my opinion. Sadly, we have too many lost and confused ships just running around doing and saying all sorts of things that continue to feed the divide in our community. Brother spoke about accountability. They need to be held accountable for the damage they're causing. What kind of dumbass question is this? How are you going to say AA, which means African American, appropriating cultures of African? Our cultures literally came from yours. It was different Africans' cultures. We were mixing them. We can't appropriate our own culture. Just like on that side, y'all listen to the music we listen, we make over here. We don't say y'all appropriating our culture because we all have it to share. It's all of ours to share. Country music is your culture too. Rock music is your culture too. That's all African culture. Teach me how to Dougie is African culture. Stop asking dumbass questions like this is a dumbass question. One of the biggest problem we as black people have is that we cannot come to a unanimous understanding. And it's frustrating because given our situation, there's so much we should be doing and so much we can be doing. But because as a collective, we sadly and painfully cannot come to an agreement and cast a unanimous vote, you see us scattered all over the place. Some to the left, some to the right, some ahead, some behind, and the rest don't even know exactly where they want to be. They are indecisive, so they are hovering. It saddens me really when I think about it because if we cannot agree on the simplest of things... Bigger things are coming. How exactly are we going to tackle those? Like we are literally at war. We are on a battlefield and we have soldiers. Instead of pointing their guns at their enemy, they are fighting amongst themselves, talking about how we are appropriating our own culture. And I'm using we here because I want us to start seeing ourselves as we, us, I want us to stop orderizing ourselves. So when I say we, I mean we. When I say us, I mean us. When I say our, is our. It's our culture. We cannot appropriate our own culture. Like I am so sick and tired of us orderizing ourselves and I see the damage that us orderizing ourselves is doing. 
That's why you would continue to hear statements like Problem is, African people don't even like us for real. Because for a whole lot of us, we chose more to identify with our subgroup rather than the main group. Because let's get something clear. If we view ourselves outside the idea of borders, if we view ourselves as one people, you would not be hearing comments like what an African-American did to me, what an African did to me, what a Caribbean did to me. That would not be necessary because we see ourselves as one. So there would be absolutely no need to categorize. But because we do not see ourselves as one, because we otherize, that is why we categorize. And let's not even talk about the dangers that comes with otherizing ourselves. Because when you otherize a group of people, you somewhat distance yourself from them. And the effect could be you finding out you care less about that group than you would naturally care if you thought that group was part of your group. Not to make this video too long, I think I'll make a separate video on this topic. This talk about cultural appropriation within the black community worldwide is very strange because not only would you find videos like this where people are talking about how African Americans are appropriating African culture, you would also find videos where people are talking about Africans and the Caribbeans are appropriating the African American culture and vice versa. And it's strange. I'm like, why are we doing this? What exactly are we dragging? I have been asking this question since last year. What are we dragging amongst ourselves? What is it exactly that we are dragging? Like we are literally the only group of people who are doing this. Literally the only group. Why do we just love fighting and quarreling and dragging things that I'm, I don't know what exactly those things were dragging? Like, why do we keep doing this really? Like, I am tired. I am tired to my bone marrow. We keep talking about how they use divide and rule against us in the past, but we do realize that we are helping them right now continue to do that for free. We realize that, right? There is so much we should be doing and we absolutely cannot afford to be wasting our time doing this. These are sensitively dire times and we cannot be distracted because at this point I'm forced to conclude that we sometimes just look for problems amongst ourselves. Why I keep asking myself and I still don't have an answer. See, it doesn't matter where you are. If you are black and you identify with your Africanness and you vibe with your culture, that's beautiful. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't not do that or you should not be doing that or you are not african or you will never be african enough like you have roots here on the continent so don't let anybody tell you otherwise whether or not you've ever visited the continent it doesn't matter keeping this video very straight to the point so i think i'm going to leave it right here but let's start the conversation down below i do want to hear what you guys think um yeah i'll see you in the next one a real african you know, the ones who were born on the continent or the ones with parents born on the continent shut up Disrespectfully.